Welcome to the Daily Guidance Meditation Podcast with the Realized Master. These meditation talks were recorded during intensive spiritual retreats with Sadhguru Siriyaji. Therefore, they might contain some specific teachings and wisdom for life to be taken into consideration. Each recording begins with a mantra to bring you into a favorable condition for the inner journey. This initial mantra is followed by a brief talk in which the process of meditation is explained to you. After the talk, keep meditating at least for 15 minutes and if you like it, continue, increasing the time by and by as you proceed. So now you are left with nothing else to do but close your eyes, relax, listen and let meditation happen. Satna 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 Satnam Radasu Ami Radasu So Radha so true seeker of truth, of a true satsangi. That was satsangi means, a seeker of truth. So, how is the life of a real satsangi? He will wake up every morning 
a sunset, a sunrise, sorry. Get ready and sit down to sing the praises of the Supreme Sadhguru. Then you will sit peacefully in meditation trying to commune, to come in tune with the all-pervading Nam of Sadhguru. That means with the all-pervading light of the Supreme. This way, we will enjoy our uh, spiritual life and our physical life as well. So finding a balance in life between uh, what in India they call it Swarat and Parmarat, that means life in the world and life in the spirit, spiritual life. That's That's the enterprise of a satsangi. That's the task of a satsangi. So that's a happy life. A happy life is that life in which we are balanced between uh, paying attention to our spiritual side and to our physical side. This is the most fulfilling life because we are not monks in this path that you refuse everything and just try to what, read the scriptures and try to meditate a bit or fight with your mind. That's a frustrating life. Maybe good for a period, but it's not good for the whole life. So we are meant to experience life and learn from this experience in life. And we are meant to always nourish our spirit, nourish our uh, higher self, become in touch as much as possible with the divine light. This way we'll be able to be a balanced people with a better self-control over ourselves. To be able to go through life with a smile on our face. So, let this meditation be also an attempt to find our peace, to find our balance, to commune as much as possible, as much as we are allowed with the best side of ourselves, with our inner self. So try not to suffer in, uh, by taking a posture which if cross leg is painful then you stretch your legs. If we move it's not a problem but we should try to keep the attention focused even while we move and do similar. So let's try to relax as much as possible and focus our attention in the middle of what we see in front of our forehead, 
steadily look within. Keep calling on him by repeating the Simran with love and devotion. And let's pray to the Supreme Sadhguru to be kind, compassionate, merciful, be careful, come and bless us. <laughs>